are you gonna say? Uh, my face feels a little weird. I just exfoliated because it's so dry here in Colorado that my face is flaking off. Not cute. Rolling with it. Hello you guys. How are you? Welcome back. It's been a while. Also, do we love the mustache? I'm kind of vibing on it. Honestly, I'm getting mixed reviews 50-50. Do you guys like it? I'm liking it. It's different. I look inappropriate, but whatever. I just watched the last episode of the Keeping Up the Kardashians. It's called The Show Must Go On. It's season 17, episode 11. And the whole thing was very bizarre to me. They talked about Courtney not wanting to film the show, and they started talking about all of their boundaries on the show, especially Courtney's boundaries, and then they went into a little bit of Chris's boundaries and how she's not filming. It got me thinking, I mean, I thought this for a long time, that the show hasn't been as good as it used to be because they haven't shown like the deep dark secrets of their lives. Yes, they show the big things like um, the pregnancies and Chloe's scandal. I mean, they had to show that, like it was already out there. So she touched on that a little bit in the episode that she, you know, she's sharing basically her entire life. And even in the episode, Kim had like an analysis, uh, like feedback, a feedback forum from the fans saying what they liked and didn't like about the show. And they said that they liked Chloe the most. And I think it's because she shows the most of her life. She's the most raw and open and real. And that's, I think, in my opinion, I mean, as you can look through, you know, my channel, I've reviewed a lot of reality shows. So I'm not an expert, but I know a lot about reality shows. And I feel like the best reality shows are the ones, they're the most authentic. Like Below Deck, it's so real. Like the camera crew is just literally following these people around doing their jobs. And I feel like the Kardashians, I mean, yes, they had some hokey episodes in the beginning that I feel like were very produced. Uh, but for the most part, I think that they were very real and authentic about their lives. And the cameras were just following them around doing all these crazy things. And now I feel like they just film conversations about things that are happening instead of actually showing what's happening. So it really came to light and I thought it was just the most bizarre episode. I thought I liked it, I enjoyed it, but I feel like they're they're wrapping it up to end the show. I was doing a little bit of research online and it said that back in, I think 2017 was when they signed their last contract for 150 million for five, five more seasons. And it was supposed to go through the end of 2019. Well, we're right there. So I'm wondering if, and my friend Janelle, you've seen her on my channel before, she said she read an article saying that they, she, she heard that they were asking for 300 million for a new contract. That just seems kind of wild to me because I know that the ratings have gone down. So for them to double, want to double their income for a show that's declining, I feel like they're kind of wrapping it up. I was uh, following Chloe on Twitter tonight, and even she said, like a fan tweeted out, let me see if I can find it, uh, a fan tweeted out uh, that I can't imagine if Keeping Up With The Kardashians comes to an end someday, I would miss so much, so much feeling this close to you guys and understanding the behind the scenes of what happens in your life. And then Chloe replied, sad but everything has to end at some point, with a cry face. So I'm really wondering, are they wrapping this show up? And I think that personally, in my opinion, that would be the worst mistake that they could make. I mean, yes, if the ratings are declining and the network isn't wanting to pay them what they want to get paid and the network isn't wanting to keep on with the show. I mean, let's be real. This is E's biggest show. So I can't imagine that they wouldn't want to ride it out until the very last drop is done. But it seems like the family's kind of over filming. I mean, I get that on the one hand, but on the other hand, I feel like I love the Kardashians. It's my favorite show. <laughs> um, some people look down on me for that, but I love the Kardashians. I love them to the end. Um, but I think that they are getting a little bit entitled. I don't think they're appreciating what the show has done for them. Like it, 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 it gave them their entire lives. And for them to be like lazy and not want to show a lot of their lives, I mean, they're kind of spitting in everybody's face that kind of lifted them up, in my opinion. And I think that if they are moving towards canceling the show, that it's going to hurt every single aspect of their lives. I mean, I don't know their finances. They could be set up completely fine with investments and things like that, and they can carry on with their lifestyles. But I feel like 
All of their companies are, I mean, I'm sure they'll still do well, but this show is pushing every single company that is out there. It's on the show. That's their big promotion. Um, you know, I don't think they pay for a lot of advertising because they have the show. And I don't think, I think they've lost touch of, you know, why they are so successful. And it's because of the show. And this show is the foundation of the Kardashians. So I don't think it's going to be, I think that this, if this is what we think it's going to be or what I think it's going to be, could be the end of the Kardashian era, you know? I mean, I'm sure they'll still be famous, but everything really revolves around the show. And I think things will start falling apart if the show goes away. So, I don't know, I had to come on here because the episode made me feel some type of way. I don't know, how are you guys feeling about the episode? What do you guys think is going to happen? Have you guys heard any rumors about what's happening with the contract and the renewing? Um, I'd like to hear because I'm very curious. Like I said, it's my favorite show. I love the Kardashians. I love their business sense. It'd be sad if the show went away, but I mean, like Chloe said, everything has to come to an end. Um, but I want to know what you guys know. I want the 411. Give it to me. Leave me comments about it. Chat about what you think is going to happen and your thoughts on the episode. Thanks for watching this short little blurb and uh, hope to check you on my next one. Thanks for watching.